Hi guys, Jasmine here from Heaven's House of Pop Culture. So I got a couple of things to show you today. I've done a do-it-yourself Dumbo. Now there is a Heaven's House of Pop Culture sticker that I've stuck on the back and the box isn't great but it's the only do-it-yourself Dumbo I could find at my local Zing. So I picked it up. Um, now I'm not very artistic. I will, I will tell you right now. But this baby glows in the dark and it's glittery and don't know how well you can see it. Um, you probably can't see it very well at all, but I'm hoping that where it, when it gets to its next destination, there'll be some better pictures or some better video footage of it. So you guys can have a look, but this is going up for auction. Um, I will put the details over here. So Nick from Popalicious Nostalgia is doing a fundraiser auction for cancer. Um, I would really love it if everybody could get behind that. If you could share his channel, if you could share this video, if you could pop on over, I will leave his video with his details for the auction in the description below. If you could pop over to there and share that video out, um, I would really appreciate it. So it is an Australian wide auction just because of the cost, I think. I, correct me if I'm wrong, this may change, um, but I do believe that, in, you know, national people from other countries will still be able to donate to the cause. Uh, we've, we've sent in some pops before, so you can probably go back through Nick's videos and see what YouTubers have sent in things. A lot of companies have been sending him things as well. All proceeds will go towards the fundraiser and there's quite a few of us doing these little things and they will be available to purchase on the night so just keep in mind guys that these things cost us $20 to buy and then all of our arts and crafts materials so when you are purchasing these via auction on the night knowing that all the proceeds go to cancer research please dig deep you know it's really appreciated I'm really hoping for a lot of support for people who don't like Funko related things, there will still be t-shirts and mugs and he's got a whole lot of fun stuff happening on the night. So it would be great if you could pop over and check that out. Um, aside from this, I also have a few little pickups I want to show you guys. So while I was looking for that in Zing, I also found this. It does have some box damage because it was just sitting on the shelf, so it's a little bit scrunchy. Some creases on this side, but it's glow in the dark chase. Who doesn't like a glow in the dark? And then I went to Smoke Mart. Now, it's a little bit of an Australian secret, Smoke Mart is. They quite often have pop vinyls there, and they usually have stickers on them, which is like a 1 for 20, 2 for 35, 3 for 50. I think it is. I could be wrong. But I found a lot of them sitting on the shelf with $10 price tags, and when I got up to the counter and the lady scanned them, they came up as $20. And then, of course... I think she was talking to the other lady and it worked out that she'd mislabeled them by accident and I picked them up for $10 each. Anyway, so this one I basically just picked up because this is the only Steve one I don't have. I have managed to pick up all the rest, but this one was one that I was missing. And then I went on to get some more for my Pop Rocks line. Um, it got a new Freddie Mercury. I do have one down there, but he is wearing a different outfit. So I did want this one. Uh, I got the Demon from Kiss. They are in pop protectors already, so the, the light's being a bit crap. Sorry, guys. And I actually got two Lemmys by accident. You're probably thinking, how did you do that? Well, I went to one Smoke Mart one day and picked up one. And then when I went the next day and they were all on sale, I couldn't remember if I bought Lemmy the day before or if I bought something else the day before. So throwing things away. Because I hadn't scanned anything in my Funko app yet, I couldn't tell. So I thought, well, I'll just get it. It's $10. So I do have a spare. If anybody has anything from the Pop Rocks line they want to trade, let me know. I did also pick up a Glitter Elvis, but that's somewhere else at the moment because I'm waiting to find out if I've given that one to my Nana yet or not. And if I haven't given that to my Nana, that's off to my Nana's house. If I have given it to my Nana, then it's over here onto my 
Pop Rocks shelf. Alright, so please jump over to Popalicious Nostalgia. Um, check out the information for the auction and when that goes live. If you are interested in bidding and winning my little custom made glow in the dark glitter. It does glow in the dark as well. We tested it, which is pretty cool. I was a little bit worried it might not glow, but it definitely glows. And it's really awesome. I'm not very artistic, but I tried. <laughs> so I tried. But if you're interested in winning that, pop over to the auction on the night. Even if you can't come, if you could share that around, that would be lovely. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.